Stacey Habergam, Liverpool John Moores University astrophysicist. So there are a whole host of objects in space known as transients and I like to call them things that go flash in the night. These are objects that vary in brightness over time so it could be a planet passing in front of a star, it could be a supernova explosion or it could be something that's known as a tidal disruption event. Now that's just a fancy way of saying that something's been eaten by a black hole. Now, the gravitational attraction of black holes, especially the supermassive ones which sit in the centre of most galaxies, can start to consume anything which gets too close. So, when this happens to a star, it starts to tear apart the outer layers and it exposes the hotter insides. Now, the hotter an object is, the bluer and the brighter it appears, so we get a transient, a flash. Now, a flash went off in a nearby galaxy last year. And it was important to get as many observations as possible of this so that we could figure out what caused it. And it's also important to get them as quickly as possible. And that's where robotic telescopes come into their own. Sitting on the island of La Palma is the world's biggest robotic telescope. It was built in Birkenhead and it bears the name of its closest city, the Liverpool Telescope. Now it was using observations taken on this that astronomers figured out that this flash was a star being eaten by a supermassive black hole. Now what's even more exciting is later on this year within our own Milky Way a gas cloud is headed for the same fate. So sit back, relax, let the universe put on a show and let the robotic telescopes do all of the work.